My bad, y'all. It's going to be a little bright right now because the sun decided it wanted to come out as soon as I record it. But, hey, man, we had a good game, man. Uh, all I can say is that we didn't win, but I'm not mad because this week was better than last week. Extremely better than last week. And I know Sam Howe only threw for one touchdown, but he didn't throw for any interceptions. So that was great on his end. And you think about it, he went against a great defense. So I'm proud of him. And honestly, he didn't get sacked, but I think it was like probably like five times. It was three and then Hassan Reddick. And then uh, I think number 41 or 42. I forgot his number. But yeah, I think it's number 41. So I think he only got sacked five times out of the entire game. And we went to overtime. So honestly, in my book, we won. Honestly, I mean, that could have went both ways. It really came down to the kicker. It wasn't like uh, Jalen Hurts won the game. It was the kicker that won the game. And, um, you know, you sometimes got to give props to where props need to go. So, like, it went to the kicker. So, honestly, I'm proud of Sam Howe. He kept it a close game. You know, um, we could have – the offense could have did better, but – Honestly, they did a great job because they went against a top defense. And, you know, um, also, they 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 worked the, they worked the offense through Terry McLaurin and uh, Brian Robinson. And I really appreciated that. And, you know, we got really started as soon as we got that touchdown by uh, Christopher. Uh, I call that man Christopher. By uh, Curtis Samuel. But, like, as soon as we got started, I mean, that was the key. Get started. And I could tell that uh, what what's his name? What's our coach name? What's our head coach name? Was it Eric Bieniemy? I could tell that Eric Bieniemy his 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 idea for this game was to get started quick, and we did that. And uh, you know, especially the first drive showed everything we could do, and we were just moving. We was quick. He was quick with it. He wasn't wasting no time, and he was just trying to get down there and score. And that was the key to trying to win this game. And we almost won. Honestly, we almost won. But um you know, uh it just came down to you know, it came down to blocking, it came down to last minute decisions, last minute everything. So it's just um it was a good game honestly, and we went toe and toe toe to toe to a, a team that was, you know, 3 and 0. And this was a team that went to the Super Bowl last year. So that showed a lot and uh I think I think this game really like it wasn't like Jalen Hurst did a phenomenal job. It was just like he did decent, and he went against a top defense, and our defense really showed up today. You know, we could have been better. We let a, we let a we let up a lot of a lot of passes through the air. You know what I'm saying? Like they got a lot of receiving yards on us. I could say that, but man, like we got we gon we got to do better. We do got to do better. Honestly, I can't act like I'm not mad at something. I'm not mad at, that we lost. I'm just mad that we didn't win. Can I put it that way? Do that even make sense? Like, I'm not mad that we lost, but we did great. Um, I just need us to win more. That's all. And this game didn't make me mad that we lost it. But, um, man, we had a lot of good things here. You know, uh, Sam Howe threw it to almost everybody. You know, he worked the, def- the offense through everybody. And we really didn't have that many turnovers on our end. And I was proud of that. We didn't have any interceptions, I can tell you that. And I don't even remember. I, I don't think we had any fumbles. Um, Man, I don't think we had one. But what I was saying before we started this game was that if we had a turnover, we had to take advantage of it. And we had one fumble. It was forced by, uh, I think it was Derek, Derek Forrest. Yeah, I think he forced. No, no, no. It was Benjamin St. Juice. And he forced the forced fumble, but he didn't get there in time to get the forced fumble. So uh, the Eagles offense picked it up. But that was one of them advantages. Uh, I mean, I say advantages, but what, that was one of them opportunities that we should have took advantage of. But besides that, man, it was a solid game. It was a it, it was a we played like we was in the playoffs. We honestly did. And um, I'm proud of us. And this is a team that. You know, from last year to this year, got even better. And think about who we kept under a hundred yards. We kept, we kept. Um, what's his name? I don't forgot the boy's name. 
DeAndre Swift. We kept him under 100 yards. And, you know, the last two weeks he's been going off. I think he had like 120-something last week. Before that, 170. Like, bruh, like, we kept him to 50, 56 or 54 yards, bruh. Like, we honestly contained him. And we really show what our def defense can do when it comes to the run game. But, you know, Emmanuel Forbes is still learning, so he's trying to figure out how to play veterans. And, you know, he's had a great opportunity to practice against Terry McLaurin and um, Curtis Samuel and even Jahan Dawson in practice. So, and and he even told he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Odell Beckham in, uh, back in, back in uh, preseason. But I think he still has a lot to learn. And, um, you know, they had him playing on A.J. Brown the whole game, most of the game. So, that last season, that was um, Benjamin St. Juice that was playing on him the whole time. But this season, they allowed Emmanuel Forbes to get out there and, and, and you know, handle him. And I think he had him for a little bit, but, you know, A.J. Brown went off this game, man. He had 100 and some yards, and he, I believe he had, a, I think it was just one touchdown or two. But he went off this game. I, I got to give him his props, man. Like, But you got to think about who was put on him. And, you know, uh... Emmanuel Forbes, he he let up a lot, and uh, you know I think he missed about two opportunities to get an interception. But man, he played he played well, you know, to let up that many yards and to let up a touchdown, and us still be at three and three. I mean thirty one to thirty one. That's a good game to me. I mean you're going to let up some stuff, especially as a rookie in your first year. You're gonna let up some things. You're gonna you're gonna let up. You're gonna make mistakes, and you're gonna you still gotta learn this person. Like every time we go into another game, there's another veteran that he has to play, and he has to be at his best. And you gotta play these people differently. So, you know, he still has a lot to to learn, and um, you know, it's really hard to play AJ Brown because you can play close on him, and he can you can get behind you. Or you can play off him, and he can just give you a few moves, and then he's still behind you. So it's like you just really got to play and at your best and just keep trying and just try to learn him while you're out there because you ain't really got that much time. You only got, like, what, four hours to learn him. And, you know, that's a, that's how long the game is. So um, Emmanuel Forbes did a good job, man. I'm proud of him. Um, he could do better. Uh, he's going to do better. And, you know, I really, I really thought they was going to have him playing on Devontae Smith, but – they had him playing on A.J. Brown this whole game. So that was a huge challenge. He's never played up against this man. And we all know how good A.J. Brown is. So, man, like, uh, what can I say? I don't know what else to say, man. Like, they they came to play, and we did too. So it was a close game, man. That game could have went any way. It went to overtime. So that that showed how good we was. And we did way better than last week. And I'm, I'm just proud of us. And, man, um, Eric Bieniemy had a great plan, man. He involved the run game a lot more than he did last game. So I'm proud of him, and I'm I'm just I'm just glad that, you know, he came up with a scheme to – a great scheme to win his game. My bad, because my lips looking all greasy. But, man, it's hot out here, and I decided to put on a hat and a jacket. But, man, like, Eric Bieniemy really came through this game. It shows how good of a head coach he is, you know, and – He's also showing that, you know, we got great players. Just because we didn't get the W don't mean we ain't a great team. It just means we ain't get the W. You win some, you lose some. But you live to fight another day. So we're going we're gonna to play another game, man. And um, I forget who we got next, but we're going to win. I don't care who it is. We're going to win. I don't forgot who it was. All I knew was uh, Cardinals, Broncos. Uh, who else was it? Cardinals, Broncos, Bills, and them. And I, I got to look up and see who it is again. But when I find out, I'll come back with another video, man. I appreciate y'all for subscribing, man. And definitely uh, send these videos off, man. Share these videos with your peoples, man. Because something is off with my algorithm today. Like, it's, it's not even just today. It's like the last two weeks. Like, none of my videos have been doing anything. I don't know if I'm... I don't even know where I'm posting it. Like, I don't know what's going on, but... I appreciate y'all for hanging on in there, and uh, hopefully y'all can come back and watch these videos, man. I ain't doing this for nothing, but 
yeah, man, we 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 going on the up and ups, man. We we this was a great week for Sam Howell, man. He did his he did his thing. He didn't make any turnovers, and he learned from last week. And it was a lesson, you know. And look how much points we put up this week compared to last week. And we going against a, a team that went to the Super Bowl last season. So, you know, um, of course they got a different offensive coordinator, but man, like we still did a great job. And man, I, I didn't see too many runs by uh, Jalen Hurts. I only seen about one, two, and and you know, um, we contained uh, DeAndre Swift. And I'm just glad that we we did it, you know. And uh, a lot of the things I spoke about in the last video, we did it, man. We did it. We 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 did it. He came with a game plan. Eric Bieniemy is that guy, bro. I mean, even just because we didn't win, don't mean anything. He showed what he could do. Still, we ain't win, but we scored, you know. And we had a game plan, and he had a, a lot of tricks up his sleeves. So I'm just excited to see who we play next week. And man, uh, definitely keep subscribing. Appreciate y'all, man. I'm out.